Barb Mask. Of course, Dutch Day is coming up next weekend, May 3rd and 4th in downtown Fulton. It is the 50th annual event. Barb, great to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Gary. It's always a delight to come and visit with you. Of course, I will be seeing you Saturday when yes. I'm broadcasting live from down there. So the 50th annual event, and you were telling us a little bit of a story off air of how Dutch Days all started. Yes, it started with Patty Rutzma. She was a Dutch immigrant, um, very involved in the Catholic, uh, very involved with the Christian school in Fulton. And so they started this Dutch dinner as a fundraiser, and it just grew in leaps and bounds, and very quickly. Um, there at the end, when they stopped doing it, they were serving like 800 dinners on a Friday evening. It's incredible. Yes, and so that the auxiliary uh, at the time could see that this had a potential to really grow into a bigger festival. And they had called and asked if I would consider doing that. So I gave it a lot of thought. I went to local businessmen, talked to them about it, and they, they were very excited. They too could see it would be a wonderful addition to Fulton, but asked me that we, we try to create a way that we could generate revenue that we're not coming to local businesses every single year for sponsorships. And so we did that. We found a way to do that. We created the arts and crafts um, area, and we get a flat fee for that. And that's worked for us all these years. And then, um, so then even if the weather is bad and the crowd is smaller, we still have an income to work with the next year. And then with the food vendors, we do that one on a, per, a percentage of their growth. So if they have a good year, then we have a good year. And so that's worked for us. And we have, have you know, had every kind of element over the years, but it was only the worldwide pandemic that shut us down for a couple of years. That is true. So yeah. you always have a theme as well. And talk yes. about this year's theme. This year's theme, and that's really fun for us because our mission is to have these Dutch, Dutch culture related activities, you know, the obvious ones, the dancing, the scrubbing, the Dutch pastries, all of that. But the theme, we try to t make that an educational experience as well. And so this year, it's the history of KLM. It's the Royal Dutch Airlines. It has an interesting um, history. And we chose it this year because it's been 100 years ago that they started flying internationally, and they were one of the first companies to do that. And so that's our theme this year, and it's been fun, um, you know, just to develop that. And you talk about the educational aspect. I always like to wander into the Masonic Temple there yes. because you've got such beautiful Delft yeah. on display. And then in the next room is where a lot of the presentations that's take right. place. That's right. And that's just, that's just a haven for a lot of people. I mean, some people come just to go spend time in that Dutch treasures room, and they really are treasures. And so many of those are also things that the immigrants have left to us. So they have stories. Um, and we always try to keep that focus on the history, the culture, and our themes. Oftentimes we tie those up with, with school kids as well um, because that's always been our mission to keep children involved in that education, culture, focus. You can visit with Barb Mask about the Dutch Days Festival. Of course, a big aspect is the parade on Saturday afternoon. And talk about this year's Grand Marshals. Our Grand Marshals this year are Tom and Joy Van Zuden. They are uh, lifelong residents, both of them. And that's one of our criteria is that you've been a long-term resident in Fulton to uh, be considered to be a grand marshal and somebody that's been, you know, really involved in public service, church, school, community, a combination of the three. And they've, they've really met that in, in full measure, the two of them have. So we're delighted to have them this year. And speaking of celebrating your Dutch heritage, the traditional scrubbing of the streets yep. before we can have the yep. parade. You know, and it's really interesting because in the Netherlands, they are as clean as everybody portrays them to be. Um, and the shop owners literally do come out at the end of the day at 5 o'clock and scrub the sidewalks in front of their shop. And if there's something in the street, they clean that too. Yeah. And especially before a parade. So that tradition is, uh, it's a real thing. It's a, it, you know, we kind of do it as a mimicking of it, but for them it's serious. And I love watching it, how the, some of the littlest children take it so seriously. They're out there just scrubbing. And if there's one thing on the ground, they're not going to leave until they get that picked up. So I always think to myself, now they must be really Dutch there, that they were that particular, because <laughs> that's how particular the Dutch are with the cleaning. And you know, another <laughs> thing that people love to line the streets and watch is the clompen dancing, yeah. a great tradition. And how is that looking? Have they been practicing hard? They've got, they've got larger groups this year than they've had for a very long time. 
And I'm glad you brought that up because this year we're having two Klompen races. Um, we're starting with uh, K through five on Saturday. We started it last year, so th that will be on Saturday um, around noon. And it is so much fun to watch. Um, and now this year on Friday night, we're going to do it with our middle school kids. And so it's just really fun to watch. And all in that effort of keeping that Dutch connection, um, you know, that people learn the tradition about the wooden shoes. And, you know, we make it into a learning experience, a teaching, mm -hmm. a teaching moment about the shoes. And, and why the Dutch people wear those wooden shoes or have is because their ground is always so wet. So if you're out in your yard or working in your garden, the leather shoes just don't last very long. So that's how that clomping came about. And, of course, you can always visit with Luke Traver, the master wooden shoemaker. Yeah. He will be there. He'll yeah. tell you the whole story of it, and it, it really is remarkable. And a lot of people like to buy their shoes after they see Luke carve them. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's and, if, and he'll also go back home and if you have a particular, you know, style that you want. So, yeah. So are you looking forward to it, Barb? Oh, I am, yeah. Um, it's a joyous occasion for me all, always. Um, not only because my father was a Dutch immigrant and I've, I've grown up with immigrants as they came into full. My parents would sponsor Dutch immigrants and, um, you know, I just got to know them and the, the challenges it was for them when they came to here was not easy. I mean, they wouldn't know the language and it was, uh, it was not an, always an easy road, but I just, there's just part of my life and, and the tradition. It's, it's a wonderful uh, nationality to have in your background. Most people know, but uh, her maiden name is Vander Bleek, yeah. so very much Dutch. Yep. And my and parents own the Dutch Boy Greenhouses, the Dutch Boy brand tomato greenhouses, and the, and the Dutch Boy restaurant. So, yeah, they were in business for a long time there. Appreciate your time. One final question. Yes. Uh, what uh, costume will you be wearing for the weekend? I wear my Volendam costume usually on Saturday because it's a very comfortable one. I'm in it from early morning until late at night. I have several. I yeah. have, I'll have several in the costume parade. Um, uh, the show, the style show that they do, several of those costumes will be mine, but I wear the one that's most comfortable for me all day, and it's the one that's best known. When you see a postcard of Dutch people, it's usually in that Volendam costume, so that helps also. Appreciate your time. I will see you Saturday. Yeah, look forward to it, Gary. Check mm -hmm. the weather coming up. Springtime is savings time at Clover Hills Appliance and Mattress Center in Clinton. Save on recliners by Best Home Furnishings made right here in the USA. Buy one recliner, get the second for half price. Lift chairs start at just $7.99. Get big savings on Speed Queen washers and dryers, all GE appliances and Tempur-Pedic and Therapeutic mattresses at Clover Hills Appliance and Mattress Center in Clinton and Sterling. With better prices and better service than the big box stores, you can't go wrong. The last tractor you'll ever need is here. Get into a Massey Ferguson compact or utility tractor and accomplish more than ever before. These versatile tractors are known for their unbeatable power, smart fuel economy, and upgraded creature comforts. And with their ability to multitask through any job around the yard or farm, they'll provide you with outstanding value for years to come. Do all you need to do and more with Massey Ferguson compact and utility tractors. For details on our best deals of the year, visit your local AC McCartney or learn more at ACMcCartney.com.